don't create psychos. Movies make psychos. More creative. Hey, welcome to episode one of the Movies Make Psychos podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Familiar voice is a brand new name. I am Andrew Fay, alongside my roly poly sidekick, Mr. Brian Farmer. What's up, buddy? What's going on? That's the uh, that's the name they gave me, Mr. Roly Poly to you. <laughs> yeah, I've called you Roly Poly for a while now. I don't know yeah, where yeah. It came you know, from. it's if if it fits, it sits. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> right, like a kitty cat. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Just like a yeah. fat ass Garfield that loves lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, like I said, episode one of Movie Make Psychos podcast. We are uh, putting Outsiders on the back burner for those uh, previous listeners. We used to be on a show called Outsiders before, and uh, just that that's been not my podcast. Relit, <laughs> reignited, relit, reignited, and dragged to the mud. And while it was a fun run, it's time to put that to rest. And now we're hitting the reset button. Like I mean, Nintendo. I was it really fun? Was it? I had, I had like I said, I had its moments. I had my fun moments. They yeah, had good yeah. moments in there. I mean, since we're putting the pretty real like nail in the coffin, uh, I don't know. It seemed like a good idea on paper, but probably one of the worst times of my life. <laughs> but you know what? It's uh, it's gone. It's overall, gone. overall, <laughs> overall, look on it. I didn't even think. Yeah, about. yeah. You know, it's oh uh, yeah. One and done. See you later. Well, Never again. I'll just say that people say, uh, oh, I don't have a single regret in my life. Well, there's a few just in that podcast alone. That <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you think? You think? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, bye, Felicia. <laughs> bye, Felicia. Yeah. But now we're on to this. A whole new show. Episode one titled Movie Made Psychos. See what we did there? See how fucking cute we're being already with our first episode? Yeah, play out our new name. Obviously, our name comes off of any even casual horror fan will know that movie makes psychos. It's from Scream. Movies don't create psychos. Movies make psychos more creative. Billy and Stu, which we are the Billy and Stu of the podcast. This is true. This is this is very true. Yeah. I mean, I'm feeling woozy here. As in, we're just <laughs> two guys that do a podcast, but yeah, that's yeah, about the, really the only connection. And you know, we're, we're back really, to life. We're really selling it. We're really selling it now. <laughs> well, we are back to life, which we know. I mean, they're going to be back to life anyway in part five. Yeah, you know, it's like time heals all wounds. You need a break. And then uh, and then you come back. And, and then, then you come you know, back in, in part five with your love child. Yeah. You know, <laughs> this, this, this is what it is. Yeah. See, I just spoiled Scream 5 for everybody. The killer is Billy and Stu's adopted love child. With bad foreskin. But yeah, here mm-hmm. we go. <laughs> What's the force you got doing? Is that why he's so pissed off and killing yeah, everybody? Don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's in the religion. We'll, right? we'll, we'll find out in the, in the director's cut. <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure some of the, uh, the the old uh, the old OG listeners from back in the day are gonna see this and be like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> right. And new listeners, welcome. It, 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 and yeah, there's no need to go digging for past shit because it's, it's done. Yeah, there, 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 there is no, no, uh, no past shit. It's only that new, new. Yeah, there is no Dana, only Zool. Yeah, uh, yeah, that part. So, like, what, what, what is this podcast? What, what? It's movies to make psychos. So, you are we gonna slowly become psychos and just start killing everybody at horror conventions, starting with TFW? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hopefully, we'll we'll make some psychos at TFW. As long as Omnicron don't make no psychos on <laughs> between. Yeah, them. what's 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 up with this fucking Necronomicon shit? Like these fucking numbers are just fucking crazy. Yeah, it's going up. Like, oh well, man, we're back to normal again. No, we're not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. And then, yeah, now they're yeah. saying that pretty much everybody's going to get Omicron because it's traveling that fast and that hard and just going crazy. Yeah, you know, I, I'll, I'll be surprised if these conventions happen that are su- allegedly supposed to happen in like the next few months. Oh yeah, I'm not getting. I feel this is like a broken hard. record of like two years ago. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, we're doing a little playback because yeah, we kept talking. Is it gonna happen? No, is it? No, no. And then it doesn't happen. And then it gets fucking postponed. Then it gets postponed again. And it just doesn't happen. Then a year goes by. And the pets' heads have fallen off. And then you know, then we're just right back to square one. <laughs> 
Right. Well, they did have a version back in September, but neither one of us went to that shit. You know, did did you did you pay attention to that at all? I just saw pictures here and there and shit, but I didn't really yeah, deep you know, dive into I, it. Yeah, I mean, I was very, like, fucking voyeuristic, fucking behind the blinds, creeping and shit, trying to see, like, what was going on for it. But, <laughs> right. uh, I mean, I was watching some YouTube videos on it, and I was looking at pictures. It looked very underwhelming. Like, that, that whole guest list, once again, was, like, recycled ass. Like, it wasn't good. Like, it didn't look like anybody showed up for it, really. Yeah, the guest that seemed the most exciting to meet out of the videos that I saw was that fucking enchiladas guy from Friday the 13th. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, just even the attendance. Like, that attendance looked like I think that was, Wasn't that intentional, though? Didn't they cap it off, like, pretty big? You, you know, I'm, I'm not so sure that they capped it off. I mean, they were having that's a hard time. That's why they kept, like, doing polls and shit. Like, you know, how many of you are actually going to attend? And da, 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 da. Well, I think that's because they were trying to fig- gauge if they should even do it or not. I think they were trying to see, <laughs> like, what who already, like, had like had a pass that was gonna go or like who was gonna postpone or whatever i mean i always hit the fucking postpone shit on it um no actually no that, that, that's a lie no i was i kept saying i was gonna go the whole time like when he was doing like those surveys and shit because i was hoping that it was gonna turn around but it did not look good it did not look good and i'm glad i didn't go because that would have been a waste of a fucking vip ticket yeah i guess like the hotel bar wouldn't even open and shit you'd be in the room oh wow yeah you know what yeah. it's because uh people <clears throat> If uh, next time people go to TFW, um, actually, make sure you find your own spot because we have a secret spot that we go to. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah. like a, it's like a, a museum. <laughs> <laughs> um, how do you feel about this new uh, this New Year's uh, guest list for uh, for TFW? A little bit, a little bit different, a little bit, a uh, little bit old, little, mostly old. Uh, as far as like, it's like they're trying to change it up a little bit, you know. Yeah, I mean, you know, Robert England's there. So, I'm, uh, are you are you gonna get him again? Because I know you have a hard on for him. I, I'm I want to do like the group photo of all the Elm Street kids and him from Dream Warriors. Yeah. That, that'd be cool to do. It's probably gonna be like a four hundred dollar fucking group pic. You think? <laughs> probably, but yeah. if you're asking if I'm gonna wait seven hours in line again while VIP assholes fucking cut in front of me, <laughs> no, I'm not doing that again. That's oh, that's, that's, that that's was great. Me and fucking though. Jamie blew right past you in that line. I was in that line for probably like an hour and a half max. We yeah, were in that shit for like seven hours. I was one of the first ones in line for four hours, and then gates open. Here comes the VIP fucks, man. That can last another fucking next three hours. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What well, uh, did you see that person that had like that whole that radio flyer wagon full of like fucking? 20 yeah. Items? Luckily, he was behind me and not in front of me. So. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh man, I was hoping that he was in front of you, like the last person in front of you. <laughs> I would start throwing his shit across the room and go get it while I cut in front of him. Fuck you, dude. Yeah. When, when I, you know, when I, when I first saw that Robert got announced, I was like, ugh. But then I realized I have like five things that need to get signed that I'm just going to bite the bullet and just do because he's not going to live forever. He's going to die. And I don't want to do that whole mail and service bullshit because the post office sucks. Right. Especially the way he drinks. No telling how long he's going to do that's that's true. You know, you, you gotta rekindle your old flame with fucking uh, second round at the bar with Robert England. <laughs> oh yeah, me and the good old Colonel we already talked about. We're gonna make sure we're there when the bar opens on that on that Thursday and just see who strolls in. I'm hoping for Carl Weathers myself. I don't get drunk with that seventy year old man this time. But you know, the, 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 people have from... this misconception of how much Carl Weathers is at. Like they like a lot of people are excited, but a lot of people don't know that he charges a fucking ass load of money. Well, that's fine. It's still it's it's a Paul Fug creed, man. Are you gonna get him? Are you, you oh, gonna get absolutely. him? Absolutely. He's he's so uh, he, apparently he charges double if you get a Funko. Well, I'm not getting a Funko, so yeah. <laughs> I don't know what yet. I thought about the fucking Apollo Creed rubber ducky. <laughs> not that'd be different. Because I already have the Exorcist rubber ducky. I like, oh, they got the whole Rocky lineup for the rubber duckies. They also <laughs> have a creepy ass Apollo Creed mask. <laughs> from what trick or treat? <laughs> yeah. Just make sure you buy it from them directly. Right. Yeah. But <laughs> well, it'll be It'll be something Rocky for sure, because I'm a huge, huge, huge Rocky fan. Yeah, like Rocky's yeah. up there with the Elm Street franchise for me. I mean, who, who are your top? Like, you can't without without Carl Weathers and no fucking Stallone. Who's like your next favorite person in uh, the Rocky? Movies? In the Rocky, like, oh man, gotta be Dolph Lundgren. Yeah, I'll go. If he dies, he dies. <laughs> right, that's some fucked yeah. up shit. And then even his son, dude that played his son in the Creed in Creed Two, he's a fucking beast too. I really. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was at a. I was about to say Orlando Jordan. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> Michael, Michael B. Jordan, not the not the wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Michael B. Jordan is is, is Creed. Yeah. yeah, yeah, not fucking Orlando Jordan. Um, Which Mick was my favorite man. I loved Mick. You're oh, a well, fucking yeah. bum. You're yeah. a bum rock. <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah, how can you not love Mick? And it's so sad when he dies because Stallone gives his weird ass slur cry that he fucking has. I mean, like in 40 years from now, when you're at the end of your lifespan, like you're gonna look just like fucking Mick. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've already you're like all fucking... fucking shrunken in the face, shriveled up, and like just ready to fucking die. So it's gonna be great. I've already got the hats and shit that he wears. Yeah, see, and you're already gonna... prepping. Tell everybody they're a bunch of fucking bums for no reason at all. <laughs> you're a great fighter, but you're still a fucking bum. You gonna say that to the people the Dairy Queen line? <laughs> all right. No, not Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen's done for me. That's enough. Yeah. No. I, I. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. There's breaking news. Dairy Queen is done for Faye. He's yeah, no, no longer a uh, no more permanent DQ Blizzard jokes. maker. <laughs> yeah. No more DQ jokes. Just, yeah. Yeah. No more making flamethrowers on the fucking weekends. Yeah. My my old boss decided to just shut it down finally. Took her a long time. I'm glad she did because I was in the type of situation where I'm never going to leave this place until I get forced out. And then finally got forced out. I mean, I was I was speaking more of like when you're like older and you go senile and you become a, a movie made psycho, um, where you're just kind of <laughs> going back to the old like spots that you still like remember. So like you're just wandering to a random Dairy Queen, I just wandering to Dairy Queen, start making burgers and shit. Yeah, yeah. Get yeah. out of here! You don't know what you're doing. You're a bum. <laughs> I know how to make these burgers. <laughs> They're a bomb rock. <laughs> <laughs> Get away from those fries. I'll salt them. You bum. Yeah, that sounds like a fun way to spend my last few years. Yeah, like yeah. You know, from really, Rocky. really put you out the pasture. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which, uh, yeah, that kind of segues into uh, one of the questions I have since we're tonight we're discussing uh, just our different psychos in movies and when i say psychos i mean like some of it something that's going to be more uh realistic more uh that could actually happen in real life type of thing no supernatural no possession any of that shit you know like billions do you know obviously that that works or any killer in the screen franchise because they were all like actual people you know screen three got a little weird with the with the with the bomb talking to her and shit i don't know what the fuck they were doing there Is that Lori metcalf from fucking um what Roseanne are you talking about? Oh no, that was Scream Two. That she was really alive. In Scream Three, when Sydney starts hearing her ghost mom talk to her, that was one of the biggest flunders they did with that. Besides, you know, Courtney Cox's bangs, but just <laughs> <laughs> that what was, the fucking hairdo, huh? Right. But but yeah, uh, if uh, if you were gonna if well when you become a crazed psychopath in your in your future. Would you want to do it alone, or would you want to go like Mickey, Mickey and Mallory style from uh, Natural Born Killers, hmm. with somebody by your side? Great movie, great movie. Um, well, you know, I have a low tolerance for people, and I'd probably end up killing them. So I'm gonna say alone. I think alone, better off alone. Yeah, I was thinking alone too. Cause you know, no matter how crazy I think I might be, she's a female. She's gonna definitely be more <laughs> crazy than I am. And one wrong word, and she's fucking murdering me instead of murdering the people that we're trying to fucking murder. Yeah, but I mean, at the at the same time, she probably if she was mad at you, she'd probably blow up your spot too, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, or turn me in, or kill me, or eat children, or I don't know. So I don't think I had no matter Crush how crazy. Tell you off in the middle <laughs> yeah. of the night. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm good. I, I mean, I'm sure the sex is great, but <laughs> it's not worth the risk when we're going on a killing spree, and all of a sudden I told her to fucking clean up after herself and she gets fucking pissed yeah i mean i feel like for somebody ride or die to like wear someone else's skin on their face with you as you you drive down the fucking the turnpike for like 300 miles you know that's a special kind of lady you know yeah we have to be dating at least like three months before we <laughs> yeah at least like, at least three months yeah, at least three months before i feel like hey we can go do this together yeah you yeah, know, they, they, they gotta show their worth you know what i mean you gotta, you gotta show they're down for the cause down for the long haul <laughs> So does Natural Born Killers, does that count as a, you know, a realistic, like, killer movie? Because, like, the, those people can really happen, but the movie itself is very, like, trippy, and they do the weird... Yeah, I mean, a lot of the aesthetics of the movie are a little trippy and crazy. I mean, as far as, like, you know, like, the, the prison stuff and, like, all that, and just, like, the riot and shit like that. And, and the yeah. laugh tracks when Rodney Dangerfield is on there and shit. Oh, my God. Fucking Rodney Dangerfield. 
Yeah, they suck up in the movie, and then they're doing like laughing laugh tracks in the background, like on sitcoms. <laughs> He's like, no respect, I tell you, no respect. <laughs> yeah, um, I, I believe so. Fuck yeah, I believe, I believe that for sure. As far as like the the like the, like idea the characters of those... themselves, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that could really be what that like, kind of shit they see in their fucking heads because they're crazy. Who was it? Because it was uh, it was Woody Harrelson and who was the girl? I was Juliet confused. Lewis. Ju- Juliet Lewis. There we go. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Who's thriving on that show Yellow Jackets right now? I keep hearing about that. I've still, watch. I've never seen an episode of it. I haven't seen it either, but I keep hearing great things. But yeah, and that, I'll continue on with the Does It Count? Now, uh, would you say uh, the Firefly family, you know, like House Thousand Corpses, Devil's Rejects, do you think that counts? C- counts as what, though? Like realistic fucking psycho killers. For me, it's. The first, if they were stopped after the first two, then yeah, then they got blasted and fucking destroyed at the end of Devil's Rejects, and then they somehow were alive in the third one. I'm like, no, that third no one was abysmal. It never even should have fucking happened. <laughs> <laughs> like that was an awful fucking movie. That thing was terrible. I hope you didn't enjoy that movie. I it was better than I expected, but also of course you fucking of complete course. dog because you, you have no fucking taste. That's why. You have no fucking respect. <laughs> yeah, you have no respect, I tell you. You got no fucking taste, Faye. So in now head, I'm starting to remember why the podcast exist. never worked out, because you got no fucking taste. <laughs> uh, whatever, whatever. So in uh, your head, only the first two exist in that, in that podcast. Yeah, I, I would say only the first two for me, for sure. Um, I, you know, I, it's, it's kind of an interesting dynamic, though, because if you think about it, it's like the kind of use like the sherry like the sherry zombie character like they like lure dudes in with like the the sexual fucking con like you know idea that yeah. that's gonna really lure them back and then yeah then like this whole crazy shit fucking unfolds absolutely i believe that right well i yeah the, i think devil's redux is the most believable one like in house has corpse you had the weird people down in the wishing well and shit like that that was yeah far i mean that's that's a little fucking far-fetched fucking rain wilson showing up you getting you know strung up in the air and everything you know right against the but, wall like I'm, I'm all set i don't see that shit no but using the piece of ass to lure in that fucked up hotel scene and that was rejects but that scene still fucks in there to watch that. yeah I, I, I would say 100 percent that's real yeah but yet somehow that movie still makes you cheer for him because then you're like because then the, the sheriff that's fucking chasing him down because they killed his brother he is just a fucking psycho himself and wants to do more than just arrest him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think, I'm, I'm thinking I might be drawing a blank. Is that is that Sheriff William Forsythe or does he come in in the end? That's William Forsythe. So okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. William Forskin, yeah, yeah. Um, William Forskin. <laughs> I mean, what, what do you think? Do you, do you think it, like that could happen or no? Oh yeah, I think it could happen for sure. Well, like I said, the only thing I don't believe is them fucking getting completely annihilated in the end of those rejects, but then somehow all three of them survived. <laughs> in the in the trilogy in the third one and then yeah the weird fucking dr satan living underground and shit like that that's a little far-fetched dr. But the, <laughs> right but the, but the family itself yeah that's that's real psychopathic family that's a family that runs together like that's not by choice yeah yeah that's that's a that's a ride or die family right there yeah <laughs> yeah they just don't fucking die because there's more money to be made yeah they don't quit after fucking 20 episodes <laughs> you know what i mean just fucking ride or die you know <laughs> right <laughs> Nice jab. <laughs> <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Yeah. <laughs> uh, another one I have on my uh, does it count list is uh, like Halloween or just like slashes. Because like huh. M- Michael Myers is a tough one because you all, it also like splits off into like two different branches too. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I mean, you, the idea that man is monster and like that. Okay. Yeah, I buy that. But do, if the I shit he goes Michael, through. Yeah, but I mean, if I buy Michael Myers, like, the fucking walking around just fucking killing the fucking virgins, slicing and dicing anybody in his way, killing pumpkins, I mean, right? I, uh, I'm not, I'm, no, that's a no for me. And I, I, don't, I don't buy him even knowing how to drive a fucking car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on. Somebody must have taught him. Well, who the fuck taught him inside? The, they're all fucking loony bins in there, but they. And who would want to be, the, like, in close quarters with him like that? <laughs> right teaching him out now well, this sign means you got to stop and then the green light that means you go and then you use your blinker to go left and right and... yeah yeah i feel like he's just gonna hit the fucking gas and then just go through the fucking gates i mean you know like and that's what? the end of michael mars right there because he crashed himself off the fucking bridge yeah and then he goes he doesn't know he's not smart to put a fucking seatbelt on <laughs> 
No, no. But he's smart enough to cover up his ugly ass face with that fucking William Shatner mask. I don't know why I just went all southern on that. I, I, it's cause, <laughs> you know, it's because you're from Wichita Falls. So, I mean, for the people that don't know, uh, Fay lives in a, in a small town called Wichita Falls uh, out no, there in no, Kansas. No, no, no. <laughs> Wichita Falls is in Texas. I don't know this big time. <laughs> In Wichita, Kansas. Wichita a little, Falls. In a little booty hole, small town outside of Wichita. So come Give me another movie. What else you got? Uh, I, I had an American Psycho because, hmm. because the majority of that's in his head. Like he's a nutcase by himself, but he really didn't kill those people, you know. Like he really didn't slash up Paul. That was all in his head. Paul was really on vacation with that dude that he talks to at the end of the movie. You know what I'm saying? I would wait. say yes, because the dude himself is a psychopath. Wait, even the girls? He didn't even kill the girls? Well, that's up for like debate, I think. Some people say yes, some people say no. Some mm. people say that he really beat the fuck out of him, but he didn't really drop a chainsaw on him or anything like that, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um Yeah, I would say I would say rich people probably fucking <laughs> hostile. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Rich people get so much in their head that they actually think they're doing this fucking baller shit in his eyes by killing all these fucking like, killing yeah, bums yeah. and shit because they're fucking bums. But fucking bums. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. I would. I would say that. I mean, I, I'm sure a majority of people who probably listen to this podcast probably have those type of thoughts about us. So. <laughs> right. Are they really psychos? Yeah. Drop a fucking chainsaw on us. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Uh, that, that's it on my uh, does it count? Yeah. Unless you can think of one. No, no. Like I mean, that so kind of walks borderline, you know, supernatural or. or yeah, ooh. was that four movies or five that you had written now? I have four, and then a fifth one just top of my head. Okay, uh, do fucking it. good old Shining, Jack Torrance. Shining. Because dude goes crazy in the hotel, but you also got to believe that it's like something supernatural in that hotel that makes one go that crazy. I mean, you want to you want to believe that it's that, but I mean, I, I'm a paranoia, like all those things, like all like the fucking like Cat mental fever. fucking depression, all, the, all like all that accumulating, un fucking treated ISO like out there in the fucking you know closed in, yeah, yeah. I guess you could turn psychotic that way, sure, yeah. But then you got all the chippy shit, like the naked ass old lady and <laughs> the twins. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and the voice is Red Robin. Yeah, yeah, Red Robin. Um, say so maybe the little kid's more crazy than fucking he is. So what is that like? Five yes, one no. Is that where we're at with the with that tally? Yeah, I think so. And for the most part, we agree. There's, I just, I don't know. I found them to be kind of borderline. I don't know if they classify as psychos or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Shining, I, I would say that's like a slow stir crazy. Like you create your own psycho. Gotcha. Yeah, I agree with that. I was thinking more of like possessed line, but yeah, I can all see, you know, snowed in that massive hotel with just your family. But I don't know, it's a big ass place though, too. So like you can still escape from your family and shit, but then you're also by yourself. Yes, yeah, yeah, the but age fear. of Wi Fi. But yeah. you, can cre you can create fear, you can create seeing things. But if you're there long enough and there's nothing to do, no one to talk to, really, you know, like. Do you want to talk to my fucking the wife and the kid like in that situation? Like fuck those two, you know what I mean? Yeah. Over here trying to write my book, you know? <laughs> <laughs> right. Shut the fuck up, Wendy. I'm trying to write this goddamn fucking book. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think I think you create you create your own psycho universe in that moment. Yeah. Just being that bored will make you go crazy. I mean, look how bored we all were when we were forced into quarantine. And we have fucking internet and Wi-Fi and all this shit. He had a fucking bouncy ball they threw against the wall all over the place. Yeah, then the fucking Capitol got raided. So, I mean, you know, it's like that's <laughs> <a> stir crazy. <laughs> Those people are psychos, too. I thought I saw you in uh, wearing more like the fuzzy hats. I thought that was you. No, but it's <laughs> funny is that people around here, because like a lot of people were from Kansas that were a part of that. So, people were like, people are never looking for people to see like if they knew them or not. <laughs> it was fucking ridiculous. So, I'm like, I you're, see you're you're like proud of that. Guy. I could see you wearing like a fucking like a box hat going in there and shit, just like cardboard box hat. <laughs> they recently sent us that dude that had the fucking big ass horns and shit on his head. He got like six months or something like that in prison. I'm like, yeah, they're actually locking these people up. They're not going, well, that was bad, and slap them on the wrist. Couldn't tell if he had a sneeze or 
<laughs> no, it was a yawn, but fucking my my head was fucking. It was it was it was bad. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. So the listeners, so you know, uh, farmer may be a little more retarded than, than usual because he's a little concussed. He, he decided yes. to see what would bounce higher, a basketball or his head, and I think the basketball won. <laughs> I lost. <laughs> yeah, he lost. I paid the consequences. <laughs> So he starts saying his ABCs in the middle of it. You know what the fuck is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I start fucking <laughs> drooling halfway through it, it might be normal in the past, but not not anymore. <laughs> oh, God. Did you ever see the movie Funny Games? Funny Games? Yeah. I wrote it down. No. It has Naomi Watts. And, like, she's in a house, and, the, and like, they're out in the middle of nowhere, and, the, and these two boys just come in and, Start, you know, doing the whole home invasion takeover type scenario. And it's pretty realistic until this one part to where Naomi Watts actually escapes and, like, defeats them. But then as this dude is going down, he grabs a universal remote and rewinds it and then corrects their mistakes so they don't fucking get taken over again. And that scene pisses me off so fucking bad. <laughs> and like that. Mm -mm. Yeah, this, those damn universal remotes. Dang right. it, Bobby. Yeah. <laughs> I always had that idea as a kid. I was like, I'm gonna make a movie about a remote that controls pocket time. And then Adam Sandler Yeah, it's called Click. Fucking... <laughs> and then Adam Sandler went and did it. He owes me money. Should have fucking patented the idea. It would have cost you 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, uh, I, one of the movies I watched for this week is uh, Fatal Attraction with uh, Glenn Close as, as the crazy ex. Which kind of makes it a little category of its own. Crazy females. Psychotic females. We got good close. We got another one that's pretty much like a remake of that movie called Swim Fan. Did you see that with Eric? Oh, Jackson? yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jesse Brad, uh, Bradford. Jesse Bradford, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like a Down Syndrome version. <laughs> yeah, but the, the, bar I, the bar I used to work at in California, Jesse Bradford, he was there every day. Oh, was it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, used to, I used to talk movies. to him about bring it on, yeah. <laughs> Pretty fun. Boy, he had some gems, didn't he? Oh, yeah. Yep. Swim yeah, fan. I'm, what I a don't fucking know why. movie. I was hyped for that movie for some reason. Maybe just because I liked that Erica Christensen. I was like, oh, that's Anakin Skywalker's history. So, I'm trying <laughs> I to think. I, I think, uh, I think when I was in the middle, yeah, that shit probably came out when I was in middle school because I remember I went to the movies to go see it with, the, with the, this girl. <laughs> yeah, I want to say it was middle school, maybe early high school for me. Yeah, what a what a movie to go see on a date. Yeah, let's go see fucking Swim Fan in middle school. Let's go do that. Yeah. You're looking at her the whole time. You're lucky I'm not a swimmer, bitch. Yeah, yeah. The I'd be swim the fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> or married in the Fatal Attraction area. Fucking married dumbass. Wild Close things. Ain't that hot. She's a great actress, but she's not that hot. Wild things. There's some, there's some crazies for you. Yeah. No, and I bring up Fatal Attraction because apparently they're going to do a, a Fatal Attraction TV series on Paramount Plus, as recently announced. Oh my God, make something fucking original. No, that's oh, all. That's all. All it's about is the good old IP, man. <laughs> fucking IPs, man, because that's the only thing that's making money, especially in the box office these days. Like nobody wants to go to the movies unless it's something that they're familiar with, because it's the Omni Omni Omnicrons and the COVIDs and the flu. Well, it's the new one, the flu, fluorona, where it's a combination yeah, of influenza A and coronavirus. Yeah, I mean, I'm just trying to stay clear of the Necronomicon, so, I mean, that's about it. <laughs> I'm just trying to get my booster, but the snow said, you are staying home, sir. <laughs> snow said, you don't deserve a booster. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be boosted like the Red Rooster. cock a doo doo Terry Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> You lost me a fucking Terry Taylor. That was, that was the, <laughs> Jack Howard Jr. I know you're out there somewhere rolling in your fucking Photoshop grave every time uh, Terry Taylor <laughs> fucking mentioned. Photoshop grave. <laughs> uh, what are some other crazy bitches? Okay, we had Mallory from Natural Born Killers. I mean, crazy females. Excuse me. I don't mean to call women bitches. Oh, <laughs> here we go. Get canceled already. Right. <laughs> Oh yeah, that should have been disclaimer at the beginning of the show. You know, this is this is definitely not safe for children. This show, or uh, the cancel culture. So if you're part of either one, go fuck yourself. I already dropped the 
retard bomb earlier. <laughs> and again. <laughs> yeah. And now I'm saying, well, what else? What's some other crazy? Oh, yeah, another crazy bitch that I'd actually want to go up against. <laughs> like, if I had to go against any of these psychos, it'd be this one. And it's fucking Annie Wilkes from uh, Misery. Oh, yeah. I would just seduce her because she's obviously a big fan of mine. So, you know, it's like, hey, baby, before you shatter my ankle with that sledgehammer, <laughs> why don't you come over here and sit on my face? Oh, and my I'll, God. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll bite her lips or something and get <laughs> escape free. <laughs> I don't know. Come here, come here, boo. Let me bite your lips. <laughs> <laughs> and then I die because she's a big woman. <laughs> and that well, you said she was just in your face, so I, I guess, yeah. Yeah, I gotta figure out another way to seduce her and let her free me. Like, I gotta have my hands, baby, or we're not gonna have fun. I was just saying cock a duty or whatever the fuck that <laughs> she says in that movie. Fucking howdy duty. <laughs> what psychopath in general would you want to go up against if you had to go against one of these fucking crazy ass people? Hmm. I don't know. I'm trying not to take away from my list. So I'd, I'd be friends with billions too, so I'm not worried about that. <laughs> yeah, I'd be I'd be the third. I, I'd be in that the uh, thruplet. I'd be over there. <laughs> <laughs> thruplet. <laughs> you triplet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. Billions do such a fucking cop out answer, though. But yeah, sure, why not? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not trying to take away from my list either. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I mean, Michael Myers is a bitch. So, but he doesn't, but we decided he really doesn't count. He doesn't count. He, he doesn't. No. I got you. Uh, Robin Williams from One Hour Photo. I take on him. <laughs> I'll go get my photos done this summer that's shorter than an hour. See how he likes that. Do they even have photo boots out there? I don't know. When I worked at Walmart many moons ago, I've. <laughs> I just said many moons ago for some reason. But <laughs> like the one a while back, we still had the photo center, but I don't know if they Yeah, well, I mean, like, yeah, like that and like CVS and shit. Like they'll, like, they'll have the photo labs at like uh, Walgreens. I, see, I know Walgreens stuff. does because that was mom's Christmas gifts to everybody this year. It was just a bunch of blowing up photos and frames and stuff. That was really nice. Mama made me a little stocking with, with photos and candy inside of it. She hid it inside the dryer because she knew that was the place I wasn't going to look when she was gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Sorry, because your mom still wipes your ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, she went to her sister's for Christmas, so I was home alone. And she's like, well, where can I hide this? I know you won't be doing it. I was like, I'm not going to do laundry on Christmas. What the fuck is that? I'm not doing anything. I'm, I can lay here and stink if I want to. <laughs> See, you just lay and stink anyway. Who are you kidding? <laughs> right? Exactly. What the fuck do I care about? No goddamn laundry. I ain't getting no uh, booty calls. Streak still lives for the old viewers or listeners. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, for, for old and new faith, how, how about you tell them where you're at now, right now for that? Oh, we just we just passed uh, month 36, which is three years. <laughs> we just hit the three year mark last month. Three years. You know, <laughs> You should give yourself like a like a, a little like Photoshop the podium to stand at for like one of these episode <laughs> cover arts, yeah. <laughs> right when when the streak does end, that's when I'll make that <laughs> cover. Like it's done. I, I have I have completed on a woman's stomach. <laughs> uh, do you still have a piss jug, or is that long gone? That's long gone because I'm not drinking as much. So uh, am, the, uh, the good old days of the piss jugs. The newer the, the new viewers will never understand. <laughs> right. Yeah, no more uh drunken pissing every five minutes or pissing in a jug. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh what, what fuck month it's I'm two months sober now. I'm not trying to make it a permanent thing. It's just more of a special occasions type of Yeah, thing. that's good. I'm like uh, I'm three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> three weeks. That's that's pretty good. It's only because I'm hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Little concussed, might as well fucking drink it off. Oh fuck no! I'll make it even worse. <laughs> Don't know what the poop's coming from. The concussion or the alcohol? Yeah, yeah. Where, where's this blood coming from? Yeah. <laughs> Why am I puking out of my ears? Yeah, yeah. No, that's <laughs> not puke. That's blood, sir. 
<laughs> oh shit! I didn't know you could puke out of your ears. <laughs> I'm fucking tripping, man. <laughs> <laughs> you're my concussed through my drunk. Doctor said you're stupid. <laughs> what you want? Oh man. <laughs> Oh, other crazy bitches. Oh, did you ever see the movie Knock Knock with Keanu Reeves? Oh, yeah, yeah. That was a good one. I, I did enjoy that. I did yeah. enjoy that one. Wasn't that Eli Roth? I think it was. I think he at least produced it or something. Yeah, it was It was Eli Roth, yeah. A lot of people should know him, but I like that one. Especially the speech that Keanu Reeves gives when he's, like, all tied up with the crazy bitches. He's like, you offered me pizza. You expect me to turn down free pizza? You offered me pizza. <laughs> and he took it. When they were like, why'd you do this when you were all married? It's too hot bitches seducing you. What do you expect a man to do? Be loyal to his wife? <laughs> what kind of nut shit is that? And people wonder why I haven't been late in three years. And uh, I just confirmed it was directed by Eli Roth. It was directed by Nice. Yeah. That's, that's one of his good ones. And that one, you know, totally different from his other ones that he did. Yeah, it was better than that Campbell one he did. Yeah, that fucking Cannibal Holocaust ripoff. Yeah, green and green fucking and green inferno. Yeah. <laughs> so you like that one too? Knock knock. Yeah, I was a fan of knock knock. I liked it. See, those are psychos I wouldn't want to go against because I know I'm going to lose. They're going to seduce my ass right down to being buried in that ground. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. So what's the idea? He just, he was he just died, right? That was the idea. That was the idea. Yeah, it was like an open ended thing, but either he died or his family discovered him buried neck deep with the evidence in front of his face fucked up bitches man bitches be crazy that's what my mailman tells me poor Keanu all he wanted to do was just be a wild stallion all he wanted to do was <laughs> eat pizza <laughs> <laughs> and just yeah. sing God gave rock and roll to you yeah that's all yeah. he wanted to do <laughs> pizza listen to kiss and go wow you know the, the simple things <laughs> And make another shitty Matrix movie. All right. All right. All right, sir. You're going to have to calm down. All right. You like the new one? I did like it. I thought it was good. I didn't I didn't fucking hate it. Because I heard so much negative shit about it. So I was like, <laughs> hold my beer. I'm going to fucking shit all over <laughs> this. And I was like, oh, it's not that bad. It started out pretty interesting. We moved the whole meta world and video games and all that shit. And then it just started getting weird. And then I kept getting distracted by Morpheus's fucking 70s attire and shit like that. <laughs> he was a snazzy dresser. <laughs> For 1974. <laughs> he was cr he was crushing the outfit game. I don't know. There was his shit was on fleek. <laughs> <laughs> uh no, I bet you Lawrence Fishburne was like, thank God they didn't have me do this shit. Yeah, I, I I was I was trying to find some dirt on that. I think he wanted the call, but the, the phone just never rang. They just had other ideas, and boy, what yeah. ideas they were! But there are some fans out there. It did flop bad. I don't know if they're going to continue on the Matrix world, or I think this might be the last one. Yeah, I, I think I think it was the uh, I think that was uh, just putting the old nail in the coffin. <laughs> yeah, just when people thought revolution was bad. And they died in that one. Mr. Anderson. <laughs> My name is Neil. Fuck. The first one's bad, eh? Well, yeah. First, first one was great. Yeah. yeah. Second one was, you know, it's cool. <laughs> and there's some psychos in that one, so it's okay for us to talk about that. Fucking. Even though it's all fake. Or is it? The Matrix. I don't be know. Real. You have to, you know, you have to insert yourself into the Matrix and find out for your, uh, find yeah. out for yourself. Take the fucking which, what color pillow is the one that keeps me in the Matrix? The red one. Red. I'll take the red one. I'm not taking the blue one. Keep me in my fantasy land. As fucked up as fantasy land is, if it's anything like the show in Matrix, like the real world. Well, no, blue, blue is the one that keeps you in the world, like where he was making the video games. That was blue. Mm. Red is what breaks him out of it. Oh, okay, so give me the blue pill. I want to stay in my Matrix fantasy land with deja vu kitties and shit like that. <laughs> Neil Patrick Harris, the fucking unsung hero. Oh my movie. god. That was a weird fucking character in that movie. I'm like, what? Doogie Howser. <laughs> Doogie Howser. <laughs> it's all digitized. And yeah, spoiler alert Neil Patrick Harris, Doogie, is in it and he plays a big part. If you haven't seen it yet. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he. Did, I thought he did a good job. 
Yeah, I didn't expect him to be as big of a character as he was. I just always thought he's going to be the side fucking therapist character. But nope. One zinger after another. And I'm like, what the fuck am I watching? But then again, I kind of get distracted. Yeah, well, I mean, that, that tends to happen. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I was in my own meta world. Yeah. Piece of candy, aka porn on my phone. <laughs> Saw that subscription to fucking you porn, huh? <laughs> I don't subscribe to shit. I go free, baby. I don't just, even do... just subscribing to OnlyFans, huh? <laughs> yeah yeah oh, i'm guilty of that one but <laughs> only farms yeah <laughs> only farms gross i don't want to spread that one <laughs> it's for the it's for the twinks <laughs> <laughs> and the bear trucker game mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm, boston cream donut <laughs> <laughs> you're the boston cream donut aren't you <laughs> that's right you gotta push the metal to get what's inside baby <laughs> Oh man, I'm getting terrible visuals. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait till Texas Friday. Right <laughs> <laughs> the visuals become reality. That's right. And boy bands. <laughs> God damn it. Yep. Uh, Here are some Colonel, more stories. <laughs> Colonel's girlfriend don't know what she's in for. <laughs> no, she doesn't. <laughs> uh, poor thing. Uh, <laughs> Just when you thought it was safe. Just <laughs> when you thought it. Yeah. Again, we're not going PG, folks. I mean, have we ever? <laughs> no, it's impossible for minds like ours to fucking get PG. Yeah, you know, we're, uh, we're, we're fucking special. <laughs> right? And there's no way I'm going to sit there and bleep every single time we fucking cuss on the show. Because I'd miss it. Because I don't realize when I say it. I can't, I can never be on live TV, like on PBS or some shit like that, because... I'll just be talking, and then fuck this and fuck that will come out, and all of a sudden, nope. Got to pull him. He's eighty six. <laughs> He's got to go. Yep. I'll just be over here talking about fucking placentas again, and then we'll just get <laughs> fucking canceled right away. No, you'll be showing everybody your Boston cream donut. <laughs> hey, Elmo, check this shit out. <laughs> cookie monster. <laughs> I got some cookies for you, baby. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, maybe we are the psychos. You know, it's starting to sound that way. It's starting to sound that way. Wait a wait a way to start episode one. <laughs> yeah, <Good topics. laughs> we're, we're probably incriminating incriminating ourselves as psychos, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, we each did create our own like uh, top fives of psychos. How do you want to do this? Do you want to do like I'll do my five and you do your five or one of us does our whole list and the other person does the whole list? I was, you know, I was thinking you do one, I do one. That sounds good. And we can right. discuss each one of them as to why and how and who, where and when and how many times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Whoever floats <laughs> your boat. <laughs> I guess I'll stick with the order that I wrote them in. I, I, like I told myself before the show, I was like, don't even sit there and look at the list because you don't want to switch things around and go, oh yeah, this guy. And, oh yeah, yeah. So, number five for, on my list. Oh, if you don't mind if I go first, sir. <laughs> oh, no, it was, I was waiting for you to go first. Yeah. Okay, okay. Age number, before beauty, yeah. Number five on my list is uh, Mark Wahlberg in Fear. Ah. Good old uh, finger-banging Reese Witherspoon on the roller coaster. <laughs> you know, he's, he's a man of uh, he's a man of thrills. <laughs> that dude was fucked up. One, he's trolling for females on the high school <laughs> ground, you know. Dude is just fucking batshit crazy. Like, why I put him on this list is just for that one shot alone where he's looking at the little people and he goes, open the fucking house or whatever. <laughs> I'm just like, God damn, this dude's crazy. <laughs> uh, uh, you better go get your boyfriend. <laughs> right. And I watched this movie around the time I started sprouting my first pubic hairs. So ever since I saw that movie, I've always wanted to finger a girl on a roller coaster. But that, that has never come to fruition. I never got to accomplish that dream. <laughs> of what, beating Mark Wahlberg and engra- engraving <laughs> someone's name in your stomach? <laughs> Nicole forever. Yeah. No, for fingering someone in a roller coaster. You know that's going to be exhilarating for the woman with the vibrations of the roller coaster and shit. All you got to do is just put your fingers in there and let the roller coaster do the rest of the work. <laughs> and then after you're getting off the roller coaster, you smell your fingers and have a good day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> 
but no, I mean that's it's just a great movie overall too. I think it's really suspenseful, and you got the dude from one of those law shows. Oh, and Alyssa Milano, goddamn, she's a tasty treat. So yeah, great cast and suspenseful movie, and they fucking cut the dog's head off, and put it through the doggy door. That was fucked up. And yeah, he just he's a disturbed individual, and he deserved what he got. <laughs> so that was, that was your fifth, right? Yeah, that was my number five. Yeah, so my number five is uh is um, Ann Wilkes and Misery. Ah. <laughs> After the conversation we had about her, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> that's actually that's that was my number five one on my list. Yeah, yeah. No, um, it's it's like it's one of the obvious ones I think in cinema to kind of pick from, right? Well, she and, fucking crushes that role, Kathy Bates, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, she kills it. Yeah, I got her fucking auto on my wall. Yeah. Yeah, like there's not many actresses in that time to like think about, you know, and be like, oh man, they would have done a better job than her. She played the whole balance of you know next door, like lady to psycho fucking killer. Yeah. Just a yeah. obsessed fan. Yeah. You know? It's like a whole. What what appears to be wholesome <laughs> is now crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Poor James fucking con man, huh? He all he wanted was some fucking ankles, you know. <laughs> <laughs> she said, "No ankles for you till you write the rest of this fucking story, bitch." <laughs> I guess I guess that's one way to get wood. I guess I don't know. <laughs> but in, <laughs> yeah, but in, <laughs> farmer still got his zingers even when he's all concussed. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> and they weren't even pre it wasn't even like pre thought of either, you know. It's just I'm on, I'm on a roll, so the creeps have yeah. my brain. Yeah. <laughs> Rattling have his head, killer a fucking bit. migraines right now, but I'm doing it for you people. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, she just wanted she just wanted to know the rest of the story. She went about it the wrong way, but she just wanted. Yeah, to, I mean, this, there's not much you can really say about it, you know. Everyone's seen that fucking movie, but yeah, that's like I, I, that's my it's my fifth. Is it mainly because like her performance and shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I would say it's like premeditated, so it's here, then it's like way up here. <laughs> right. It is yeah. pretty suspenseful, the whole fucking movie, too. Yep. I mean, and obviously she's batshit crazy. Finish the book. <laughs> <laughs> Finish the book or say bye to your ankles, motherfucker. Yeah, you know. Well, no, she smashed the ankles, though, because he was trying to get away. So that was the Well, you know, that. she was just trying to trap. <laughs> she really wanted to finish the fucking stories, man. God damn it. By any means necessary. Well, right on. All right. Well, my number four is good old Macaulay Culkin and The Good Son. What? Did you ever see The Good Son with Macaulay <laughs> no. Culkin? It was right after he did Home Alone. He did this fucking R-rated flick with Elijah Wood. And he's just this crazy, batshit crazy little kid. <sighs> he's back. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess that was part of the deal. He really wanted to do this like R-rated like thriller movie. As this crazy ass kid that killed his like little brother in the bathtub, but but you know the parents think he's wholesome. He didn't. He, you know. Yeah, yeah. He's tricking them all, and Elijah Wood, who is like the the cousin who gets to come and stay for the weekend for some reason. He uh, yeah, he starts learning the real Macaulay Culkin, but they're like, no, he he would never do stuff like this. No, he's fuck crazy. Like they drop like a fake dummy on the middle of the highway and causes like a fifty car pile up. And, and he fucking kills this dog with a fucking bolt gun. And, and it, yeah. And then the ending, though, I mean, I won't give it away because you, yeah, you gotta watch it. But she, the mom has to decide between her son and the nephew. The crazy ass fucking psychotic McCoy Coke and Home Alone little fucker. Or future Lord of the Rings fucker. <laughs> Which one is she gonna say? Even Gayer Hobbit. <laughs> and yeah, it's just, it's a really great movie. I'm surprised you haven't seen that one. That was a, like, that was a childhood favorite of mine. I've never even heard of it. Really? Oh, you haven't? Oh, no. yeah. You gotta check it out. I used to watch it a lot as a kid. My grandpa showed me that movie. I think it was probably right after Watch Home Alone. Also, he's like, "Oh, check this one out." <laughs> oh shit, I'm traumatized. <laughs> <laughs> was that uh, before that Halloween incident or afterwards? <laughs> it was before the Halloween. <laughs> uh, no more childhood Halloween stories. <laughs> <laughs> that got me in enough trouble in the past. <laughs> oh man, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a whole, it's a whole new world now. We can't really be busting that out. We right. won't go into detail about that. I just know it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I told it way too many times. All right, but yeah. Okay, well, that's a movie you haven't seen, and I highly recommend it. Good Son, Macaulay Culkin, Elijah Wood. Check it out. Good Son. Yeah, haven't yeah. never even heard of it. Uh, my number four is uh, Alex in Clockwork Orange. 
You know, I own the movie, but I haven't actually sat and watched it all the way through. Oh, really? So you've missed a lot of the good parts that make someone a psycho. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't remember much of it. Yeah, you know, he's like a sexual deviant, you know? He's, uh, yeah. And I do just, I do he's... remember that fucking dildo nose and... Yeah, and well, it gets and worse. And the, he's just, you know, he's just, uh, he's just a fucking gruesome, like, cruel character. Yeah. Yeah, he's just, like, he's fucking cold. I love it. Like, he's just fucking psychotic. <laughs> I think I'll have to watch that tonight. Yeah, I got it right here in a little triple pack. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah, I was looking at my wall. I have a I have a laser disc signed by Malcolm McDowell on it. Nice. You got the laser disc of Clockwork Orange? I do, yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Do you have a laser disc player? I do not, no. <laughs> I have uh I probably have like I don't know like ten laser disc movies and no laser disc player. <laughs> nice. I have never yeah, owned yeah. a laser disc or ever aspired to own one. Yeah, no, I mean I've got like I got my uh, Suspiria one. Uh, that's a laser disc. I had him signed by uh, your boy Argento. <laughs> you and <laughs> that great riveting story we'll tackle in a few episodes. Um, <laughs> right. Yeah, I get that on my wall. Yeah, yeah. I've uh I've I've uh, you know I'm uh, I collect I collect laser discs, but I have not found a player yet. <laughs> nice. Look at this. Both of our number fours are movies that the other ones have not seen. Nice. Killing it. Yeah, so now we both have movies that we need to watch and recap later on down the road. And now phase number three. Number three. And <laughs> the reason why... <laughs> well, and that's why I asked about uh, American Psycho earlier, because I'm going Patrick Bateman as my number three psycho. Because I love that. It's, the, it's kind of like a debate movie. Like, how much of it was in his head and and obviously a lot of the big ones were in his head like the death of paul and shit like that but that's what i love about how psycho he is, is that he really believes he's doing all this shit and he even turns himself in turns out you're more innocent than you think there buddy but you still need to be locked up because you're batshit fucking crazy yeah and i thought it was a great fucking performance uh definitely better than his fucking batman <laughs> that's for sure and uh, just good, great cast, you know. You got Jared Leto getting hacked up, or so we thought. Spoiler alert, people. <laughs> Guess you haven't seen it because you know it's a new movie and all that. <laughs> Damn Spider Man. <laughs> you got a Spider Man still boy. But yeah, I mean, there's not much. And yeah, I love, <laughs> of course, I love it when he's banging the chick and flexing in the mirror. I hope that was real. I hope that wasn't in his head. That's why I'd want mirrors, but first I'd want to get in shape first before I'd get the mirrors. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you gotta cut out all that soda. It's all that sugar. Right. <laughs> I'm not, oh man, I'm getting fat during this fucking layoff. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking great. <laughs> yeah, you, obviously you've seen American Psycho. You like the movie, right? Oh yeah, I'm, I got I own multiple copies of it. I'm a fan. Yeah. I always wanted business cards because of that movie too. You know, I, I probably haven't watched that movie in ten years. <laughs> and like, I just I, I vaguely remember, like I don't remember like the it being in his head, like it him not getting killed. I don't remember that. No. Well, no. See, I I'm glad you said that because for the longest time too, I thought that was just shit that happened. I didn't pay attention to the ending where it's kind of explained that it was in his head. Race turned himself into the lawyer, and the lawyer's like, "No, Paul was just with me on vacation, like over in like London or something like that." And then he kind of stops, and that was the end of the movie. So, yeah, yeah, and watch it again. Pay attention to the ending. They explained how it's kind of like I said, a debate movie. What really happened? What didn't? What was in his head? What wasn't? If he even killed anybody, I believe he beat the shit out of those hookers. But yeah, I think, that, that that I believe. Yeah. <laughs> but I think the rest of <clears> it, at least the, the murders and stuff, I think were all phony, except for when maybe when he's running from the cops, the people <laughs> that he shot like at the ATM or whatever. Like, maybe he actually killed those when he didn't need to because he was innocent. <laughs> right. Because beating up hookers is not a crime. We learned that in Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> Miami Vice. <laughs> so yeah, that was my number three. My number three is Sharon Stone and Basic Instinct. <laughs> no Sharon Stone. <laughs> no Sharon Stone, man. <laughs> oh, that's an interesting pick. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, if you think about the traits and all that, right? She's like super cold, like not not like empathetic, like no sympathy whatsoever. She's really cold as ice. Mm -hmm. Doesn't wear underwear. 
yeah yeah that whole fucking thing like <laughs> the, the whole fucking symbol of like sexuality and all that mm-hmm. yeah but no she's she's totally a psychopath yeah i see that it's been a minute since i've seen it but i remember enough of it yeah did you watch the sequel no no <laughs> Who was in that Jesse Bradford? I'm not uh, probably that. it was around the time that Jesse was all big and shit. So, because there was a sequel made many years later when Sharon Stone was still like, well, you know, I'm hot for sixty or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But and no, in, in, in that movie, I thought she was fucking dynamite. She was dynamite in that movie. I mean, that's why that's why her shit's iconic in that movie. I liked her in Total Recall myself. <laughs> it's Arnold's wife. No, oh, you so do, you just like the fucking mutant girls and <laughs> the three titties. Yeah, yeah the, the three titties in the bar. Yeah, yeah, and the midget with one eye or whatever. <laughs> got me a thing for them little people. <laughs> they got some fat asses on them little bodies. You know what I'm saying? Little, little people, big world. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, the, the the parents just divorced, so you got a shot. <laughs> <laughs> right. And uh, well, who's your number two? My number two is, I mean, I would be lynched if I didn't say Norman Bates, Psycho, is my number two. Good old, good old Norman. Just because it at home. <laughs> Anthony, Anthony Perkins, I mean, he was genuinely creepy in that movie, especially for that time, because I think acting in that time period is very hit and miss with me. I you think you're dog shit or you're actually really fucking good, because it's, it's a weird style, I thought, back in the, back in yeah. the days. But yeah, and he just he had that good balance of uh, wholesome and creepy, and loved his mother a little too much, <laughs> you know, as we find out in the sequels and that TV show and shit. <laughs> <clears throat> and yeah, I mean, it's I don't know, I think, I think it's I, I had to have it. It popped in my head. I'm like, oh, psycho. So well, psycho, duh. Yeah, Norman Bates. Fucking, well, I mean, not much else you can say. I had the first flushing toilet in cinema history, so congrats on that. <laughs> <laughs> making strides yeah it's the first time for everything it was a groundbreaking film <laughs> yeah yeah toilet flush worthy <laughs> yeah and it's jamie lee curtis's mama getting all butchered up yep janet lee right yeah 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 janet lee yeah she was an h2o <laughs> oh yeah she, i forgot she lived that long <laughs> yep. i think that was the end but yeah <laughs> that was the end of her yep so she did work with her daughter. Yep. Is that the only time she was in the same movie with, with Jamie? I don't know, but I want to say yes. Makes sense. But yeah, it's uh, not Norman Bates. What's your what's your what's your deuce? What My deuce number two is Michael Rooker in Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer. Ah, Henry. That movie. Not a lot of movies fuck with me. Like I. I watch a movie, it's whatever. I like it. Nothing ever affects me when it comes to a movie except fucking Sinister and that one. Like, he just fucking killed that role so hard that I was like, this dude fucking scares me. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, like, I was like, at first he started to be a fucking badass, but then I just saw the downfall of, like, his mental fucking psyche just, like, downward spiral. And, uh, yeah, such a good fucking film. So good. Right on. That's been a minute since I watched that. But yeah, I remember being fucking very eerie, fucking just. Creepy yeah, it's shit. like it's like it's like one of those things that like, like it, it fucks with you. It fucks mm-hmm. with you. Yeah. I only mm-hmm. felt that way in Sinister. That was it. So only two Sinister movies. Sinister fuck with you because science says that's the scariest movie of all time. <laughs> yeah, Sin- Sinister fucked with me. Mainly it, it was it like the fucking projector shots. I think. It fucked me too. Yeah, they just—I don't know—they just did a good job of making that fucking creepy shit. Yeah, not no other movies have scared me except those two. The Strangers freaked me out. I was shocked that this could be considered a psychos movie because it's just crazy people. And the only reason yeah. why they did the home invasion was because they were home. It and I'm like, happen. that's scary. could happen to any home in America. Mm-hmm. Could happen to shit. you and your dryer. <laughs> But before I hit my number one, I do have one honorable mention that has to be spoken that we haven't spoken about. Okay. And that's, and that's good old John Travolta from The Fanatic. <laughs> my my counterpart. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gotta throw wow. a fucking ear sniff and gotta take a poop. John Travolta from The Fanatic. You know, <laughs> I did fucking have um, 
I said, do you have an honorable mention that you that you thought about putting in your top five but didn't quite make the cut? Uh, you know what? I I thought I fucking I thought I wrote one down, but I lied. I did not. So no, I don't have an honorable <laughs> mention. Yours will count as both. <laughs> okay, because <laughs> it's the fucking banana. I need to watch that movie again. But yeah, okay. But yeah, my number one is good old Silence of the Lambs, but it's not Hannibal Lecter. It's Buffalo Bill. Good He's my number one. Yeah, leaner <laughs> tucking, skin wearing, put the lotion in the basket, motherfucker. <laughs> mm. You know He's that. Like, you know they fucking renting out tours to his house. Oh really? Yeah, it's fucking stupid money. It's like a B and B. You get to stay there overnight. Ugh, no, thank you. If you, it's like fucking. It's like a thousand dollars a night. I'm not putting a lotion in the basket. <laughs> <laughs> I'll kill that fucking dog. Yeah, no, because I mean, the dude's got the fucking crazy deep voice. I can't remember the actor's name, but you know, the crazy deep voice, Bietti's like a cross dresser to the extreme because he's wearing their skin, not just their fucking clothes. And when you're talking to goodbye horses, I can't listen to that song without getting my little hips swerving. Yeah, yeah, I think I think I'm thinking about fucking Jane's Island Bob. Yeah, I don't tuck the wiener, but <laughs> I swerve the hips. Well, it has to be big enough to tuck. But um, but um. It's too painful. My balls are too big. I can't get them back there. These low hanging fruits of mine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just I don't because it's like Hannibal Lecter. He's cool though. He's a psycho in his own right. Yeah. But in that movie itself, Buffalo Bill is the real fucking psycho. He loves his big women. He loves the way they're skin. And he's creepy, and he loves his dog. <laughs> and he loves the lotion skin. And who doesn't want a wishing well in their basement? I mean, yeah. So, <laughs> so I just want to throw all my change down there. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. My change and my bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Keep them all safe. <laughs> yeah, the yeah, well. yeah. Keep them all in the same place, you know? <laughs> yeah, don't want to lose any of them. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Got to hold on to your loose change. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, you know, I need them in the kitchen sometimes, though, too. Yeah, yeah, those fucking microwavable fucking dinosaur nuggets can only last you they so don't, long. They don't cook themselves, woman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, the the you got to flip them after six minutes. Yeah. <laughs> one my uh, my number one, my number one is um, Edward Norton in Primal Fear. Primal Fear. God damn, I forgot about that movie. That was another one I watched like a lot when I was younger with my with my boy Scott. My boy Scott, he fucking introduced me to that movie. He's like, dude, you gotta check the shit out. I was like, this movie looks boring, dude. And it turned out to be pretty fucking great. Yeah, yeah. I would I would say. Uh who do you play? Uh, it was Aaron Stamper and Roy. Yeah, Edward Norton. <laughs> fucking killed it. Killed it. When you said Ed Norton, I was thinking Fight Club. I'm like, well, he's kind of a psycho in his own right now, huh? Because he's got the slam personality thing going on. Yeah, yeah, split personality. That's an honorable mention right there. Yeah. There you go. Two Ed Nortons on <laughs> you. Crazy. Yep, I'm, I'm double Ed in my Nortons. I guess he's kind of crazy in real life from what I understand. So. I believe it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah primal fear. I mean, like the split personality, essentially. And then it's kind of like just, yeah. Oh, man. So good. Another so one of those good builds. It's yeah, good yeah. Build throughout the movie, yeah. It's God. the fucking swerve, man. Yeah. I have to watch that one again too. I don't remember little little bits and pieces, but Richard Ge uh, Richard Greer. <laughs> yeah, Richard Greer, the fucking gerbil and the butt boy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you know he was a uh, he was riveting in the uh, Mothman prophecies. <laughs> <laughs> was he? Yeah, God, I dude. loved it. <laughs> that's, I'm sorry. But yeah, I would say uh, that's my that's my five. That's my five. I think we got some solid lists there. <laughs> sure, some yeah. some curveballs in there too. I want to expect yeah, I'm, I'm curious if uh, other people have like you know, figuring ones that maybe we've missed on our top five. If like might be different, but yeah, hit us up and hit us up if you like these rankings. I kind of like doing the ranking thing because it always causes debate and controversy, even for the listeners. Like, hey, why did you put this movie in there? Or, hey, why isn't this person? In? You know, it causes conversation. <clears throat> Do we want to give the listeners a, a heads up as to what the next episode is? Or are we just going to say we'll, fuck we'll them? We'll give them the in. title. Uh, for the next episode, the title simply being Wrestling with Horror. But what does it mean? What does it mean? Well, they'll just have to tune in to find out. So tune gonna... in next week. 
<laughs> are we gonna we'll wrestle find out. <laughs> fucking? Are we gonna wrestle Frankenstein? Or, or are we gonna, are we... Skins or uh, skins or no skins? <laughs> <laughs> are we gonna talk about horror movies with, with some with some wrestling matches in them? <laughs> Who knows? I mean, because there's been a few. There has been. Or some that are just so off the wall that they could have been considered some fucking <laughs> WWE style fucking wrestling matches. Steel cage. <clears throat> so you're saying there's a chance. Yeah, like Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome, bitch. <laughs> that, that was a wrestling match all on its own. I wish they had strapped some bungee cords to people in wrestling and <laughs> bounce them around in the cage and have them fight each other. <laughs> fucking rattling around, yeah. Yeah, fuck my bank don't even the ladders put bungee cords on their ass and make them bounce up and get that shit. But yeah, wrestling with horror episode two. Check it out. And uh, yeah, make sure to follow us on uh, Instagram. Movies make psychos. If you're not already following. that way, no, that yeah. way. <laughs> it's, it's, you get that. You you go go, go, right the go that way. Go that way. <laughs> you can watch the episodes on YouTube. Movies make psychos, and follow the Facebook page for you know updates and shit. Yeah, you've been great. Movies make psychos. <laughs> See you next week. <laughs>